In this video, we're going to take a look at two examples of how solubility can be affected by various factors. This is just going to be an application of Le Chatelier's principle. For the first example, we're looking at the solubility of calcium fluoride. It produces calcium ions and fluoride ions in solution, and we're being asked the question, what would happen to the solubility of the calcium fluoride if sodium fluoride, NaF, was added? So first thing, we have to think about uh, sodium fluoride, NaF, that is just simply a source of the fluoride ion. So if we're adding uh, NaF to the solution, that just means that we are increasing the concentration of the fluoride ion. So our concentration of the fluoride ion is going up, and this is the notation I'm going to use for that, increasing the fluoride ion concentration. If we increase the amount of anything on the products side of an equilibrium equation, we know from Le Chatelier's principle that that's going to cause the position of equilibrium to shift to, to the left. So increasing the amount of fluoride ion is going to cause our equilibrium to shift to the left. And as the position of equilibrium shifts to the left, the concentration of our products will decrease, the con concentration of our reactant will increase. So this is going to cause an increase to the amount of CaF2 solid. We're going to be increasing the amount of solid CaF2. We're also going to be decreasing the amount of calcium and fluoride that have been dissolved. So this has the result of decreasing the solubility. Remember, solubility is a measure of how much of the calcium fluoride is dissolved over here in the ionic state. So if we're increasing the amount that is on the left-hand side, if we're increasing the amount that is a solid, we are decreasing the solubility. Let's try another example. Here we have iron 3-hydroxide in equilibrium with the iron 3-ion and 3-hydroxide ion, and we're being asked what happens to the solubility if the pH increases. So if our pH is increasing, increasing, that means that we are increasing the concentration of hydroxide ion. Because an increase in pH means that the solution is becoming more basic, and hydroxide ion is associated with the basicity of the solution. So if we increase the concentration of the hydroxide ion, again, we're increasing the concentration of a product, which is going to cause the position of equilibrium to shift to the left. So our equilibrium will shift to the left. Shifting the position of equilibrium to the left means that we'll decrease the amount of our products and we will increase the amount of our reactant, FeOH3. And again, just like with the previous example, if we are increasing the amount that is solid, this means that we have less of it that is dissolved, and that means that we are decreasing the solubility.